Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Let's Play Jack and Dax through the Precursor Legacy. My name is Chenzo Fidika Veda, and in this episode we are jumping down some things into a cave filled with spiders. I'm not a fan of spiders. Should have called this place the Centipede Caves. Huh. You don't. Bad. And punch the legs right off you. Oh, this place is just filled with a dark eco. Man, dark eco. That shit will never become useful in a future game. No, never. Hate spiders. In all forms. Even spider tanks. I hate spider tanks the most. Cause they destroyed my family. By being spiders. And then killing my family because they're tanks. Anyway. What you have to do here is something very, very, very interesting. I would say interesting, but that would just make so much sense. No. Intelesting. Stand on here, press triangle and reverse your controls and shoot these fuckers. So that way they will drop precursor orbs. Rather important as they should die. However, I'm going to just speed up this part because I hate it. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see any of this. This is just terrible gameplay. Terrible. Look at that. Just being a fuck. That gall acheron. This minion. Do I have to shoot the holes as well? No. It won't just be tedious and bowering. Anyway, we're getting into the end game part of the game. Where we would find the hardest of the enemies, the most tedious of the precursor orbs, and the most annoying of the everything. As such, I, I don't know what I'm going to be cutting out and what I'm going to be keeping, because this this does get boring very, very quickly. Hello, spider. And by it gets boring very, very quickly, I mean just, just mind-numbingly. If you're not playing it, it gets pretty, pretty dry. Already found our second scab fly. Oh, and that was going to be an awesome recovery, too. It was like, oh, uh, jump, die. Why did that happen? Because I'm a Let's Player, and we get Let's Players luck. Which means, if there is something luck-based that would make or break your Let's Play, just, just bank on it being bad. Just like... Bank on it being bad. 
Fuck this guy. He just would not die. I'm already five minutes in and I've done nothing here. Do nothing but kill some bitches. And shoot some dildos. Kids, ask your parents what a dildo is. Don't, don't, just just please don't. Uh, um, Uncle Shenzo will be very, very sad if you ask your parents what a dildo is. And, uh, I'm not your actual uncle. Don't call me being like, yo, where's my birthday present, Uncle Shenzo? To which I will be like, who are you? How did you get my number? My house phone, not my cell phone. My cell phone number much more easily than you can get my house number. Oh! This is one of my least favorite levels because it, it's boring, it's uneventful, it has a lot of just monotony. And the music's bad. And just, just, you know, never good. Having bad music just ruins an area. <laughs> I'll give you an example of a type of this type of area with good music. Bronte Industries. And great music. I can't hear this guy to save my life. I hit him once yet. Not even, not even. Oh, I killed him now. Is that it? Are they all dead? Did I kill them all? If ever I'm gonna miss some precursor orbs, it's, it's gonna be here. Because I yeah, I have a falling on the ball. Because I'm not a fan of the spider caves, as I have said before. Man, I have done nothing this episode. I have just l sat here shooting some centipedes who were chewing away at trees for some goddamn reason. I don't know. Maybe because they wanted some roughage in their diet. And I missed a centipede. I saw him right up there. Right up this one. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him with shooty. And I missed this guy as well. Fuck you. Died and did not drop a single orb. <sighs> oh well. Oh, I got a power cell for that. So I had to show all of this because otherwise it would have just not only been monotonous, but redundant. Not redundant. Correct use of that word. Yeah, I knew it was around here. The only thing that would have made that better is if I landed right on it and gave it the fall damage. Love that song. It's it's a nice little ditty. We've got one more power cell left before we can just continue and to the end of the game. <laughs> I, I want to continue farther into the spider caves. But I can't. 
Because I need to do things. I need... Wait, what? I thought there was a trampoline there. Do these things break? What was the point of that? What, 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 what was? What was the point of that? What was the point at all? I knew not the point of that. But what I do know is I'm doomed. We fall several times because this is Jack Daxter and it's actually really hard. Well, it's not really hard, it's just. It's a three-dimensional action platform. collect a -thon. It's the killer of Banjo-Kazooie that decided to break away and not be Banjo-Kazooie-esque anymore and power cell get! Slam dunk. Do we have enough power cells? No, not yet. I thought we were just one away. I thought she said 72. Like the virgins. Wow, where did that come from? Run away! That crystal's gonna blow! I guess you've got to destroy some dark eco crystals. That sounds like something we would do in the next episode. So, next time on Let's Play Jack and Dash the Precursor Legacy, the Spider Caves.